See that? That's cool looking. I found that out in the woods out here behind my house. Old stump. I could probably break it into powder with my hands. Anyways, here's my chicken house. The progress that I've made so far in the last six weeks. You can see the pattern I made with the uh, planks. I got those cedar planks that was fence planks that somebody had bought before the hurricane. And then after the hurricane, they never come back and got them. So I bought them for a dollar a piece of six foot planks. And I cut them up with hardly any waste. So this is still going, going along as almost probably 75% used materials or unclaimed materials. I made the uh, handrail yesterday. The little spacers that are in there are just some stubs I had left over from uh, two by sixes I cut to make rafters. They're real rigid. I put the post in concrete. And of course, that building's pretty firm, so the handrail's like holding on to some iron. And I did have to buy stair stringers. I didn't have those. I didn't have a piece of lumber big enough to cut sticks for stringers. Yeah, so yesterday I put the uh, casing around the door and the trim around the door too. Let's see, on the inside I made nest boxes. This thing's really strong. You see how I put cross bracing all over it and it's post and beam construction. Got beams across the ceiling. This is a cool chicken house. Uh, there's my feeder. 30 pound, hold 30 pounds of feed. And there's the uh, buckets we're going to keep the feed in. I made actually making the nest boxes. I went ahead and made the nest boxes with a space underneath for them buckets. There's my nest boxes. I had to buy a sheet of three quarter inch and a sheet of half inch plywood to do that, but I used sheathing, so it was it was relatively inexpensive. Uh, water, you don't have to hang a water on chain. I don't even think you're supposed to, but I just wanted it to look like the feeder, so I hung a chain. The feeder needs to be on a chain because, uh, well, right now I got it real low because we're going to get biddies, and they have to be, it has to be low so they can get in it, but uh, later on when the chickens get bigger, you raise the feeder and then mice can't get up into the feeder because it's, you know, you suspend it above the floor to where they can't reach it. Here's my nest boxes. Each one, uh, the two bottom rows is one foot by one foot by one foot, which is what they're supposed to be. But on top, of course, because of the angle of the roof, I'll put, and these may not even, they may end up getting stuff with other things. But chickens, I know a chicken will get in there, even though it's got that slope roof on the back and it's a different shape and it's kind of high off the ground. <clears throat> I've seen chickens, my neighbor didn't have no legs and she called me over one day because she heard some biddies and it was uh, a chicken had laid eggs on the top of her shift robe and the biddies had hatched out and that shift robe was tall as me that was in her bedroom but anyways this is my chicken house here's the view out my back window 